Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Monique, in case you're new here, and I teach you how to use and monetize Canva with new and exciting tips and tricks that you may have not known. And today, I'm gonna show you 10 tricks that will completely blow your mind that you can do inside of Canva. So if you're excited and wanna learn how to do these things, make sure you stay tuned and keep watching. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is I'm gonna show you how you're able to replace your link tree link, you know, in your Instagram bios and create one yourself. This allows for a little bit more personalization. You can make it cute, make it funky. Um, so the first thing you wanna do is go to Canva Home. Um, then I wanna type in mobile website. Then a whole bunch of templates will come up, right? So let's just choose this one. I really like that one. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. What we're going to do now is we can customize anything that we want. Let's go ahead and add a different photo. Then when we want to add our links, once we're done customizing, what we want to do, especially when we have buttons like this, we want to make sure that we group it together. Press group. We want to go to our website that we want to link it to. So right here, I have my own personal website up. I'm going to copy that. Then I'm going to go, got a lot of tabs open. <laughs> then I'm going to go right here, go back to what I just grouped. I'm going to hit these three dots right here. Then I'm going to click the link bu button. Then I'm going to paste my link right there, hit enter. Then if I want to add another website, I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to group these two together. Now I want to attach my Etsy shop. Copy. Well, let's just do maybe not my personal because I'm not really sure how that's going to come up. But then we're just going to do Etsy. Go right back. We're going to paste it. Hit enter. And then we're going to click publish website once we're done adding everything that we want to add. Then we want to go into, we want to go to open website. From there, we want to make sure our links work. So let's just click on the first one. Yep. Yep. And so all you want to do right now is go ahead and select this URL and make sure you copy it, paste it into your Instagram. And there you have it, your own personal mobile website that can replace your link tree. All right, so the next thing that I wanna go ahead and show you all today is this new design trend called glass morphism. Basically, you're able to add this 3D, you know, glossy, frosty glass effect to whatever image that you have. Um, so we wanna start off with a blank screen. This can be done in any size. We want to go over and upload our photo and you can upload whatever photo that you like. The next thing we wanna do is go over to elements. We wanna type in frame. And the frame that I chose was this one right here. Let's adjust it just a little bit. And so the next thing we want to do is go ahead and upload that same image back into here. So now what we want to do is click on this frame, turn down the transparency to about 50. Let's zoom in just a little bit so we can see what we're doing. Then we want to adjust the photo to completely align with the photo in the back. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You know, this isn't really perfect, but it gets the job done. Let's turn the transparency back up to 100. Then next, what we want to do is click back onto the frame. Zoom back out one more time. Click back onto the frame. Click the edit image. Then we wanna to go to adjust, which it, it can be seen right here, or you can also go down and see all. We wanna turn our brightness to 45. We wanna turn our contrast down to negative 35. And then we want to turn our blur up to 45. Let's do 40. And the things you can do with this are endless, um, but this is just a quick, simple example of some of the design trends that I've seen. So glass morphism is a cool way to add this, you know, texture to your 
picture or you know especially if you have an instagram infographic it, it really brings a different type of element to everything So the next thing I want to show you all that you can do in Canva is this cool effect called the liquify effect. Um, I do want to mention that you're able to do this with pictures that you upload into Canva, but I like to add it to my text. Um, it provides a different type of look to it that a lot of people, I don't see a lot of people doing. Um, so the first thing you want to do is start off with a blank screen. You want to go ahead and add your text. My text says, welcome to my YouTube. So next thing I want to do is download this. Make sure I save this image as a PNG with a transparent background and then I want to click download. For the purpose of this video, I already downloaded it. Then you want to drag it over to uploads. And so the next thing you want to do is find your picture and let's go ahead and add it to the screen. Make this just a little bit bigger and there we have it. So now our text has become you know, a solid picture, a solid frame. Then we want to go up to edit image. And then from there, we want to scroll all the way down where you see all these different effects that Canva offers. We want to find the liquify effect. Um, then we want to click see all. Here you see they have about eight different um, effects that you can choose from. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to go ahead and choose the wobble effect. Canva also gives us the um, opportunity to adjust it to whatever our liking is. So let's turn up the amount, let's turn up the size, and then let's click apply. And there we have it, the liquify effect. All right, so the next thing I wanna show you all is a element called neomorphism. Um, so let's go to a new page. And what we wanna do is go over to the elements tab then we want to type in neomorphism. Here you see that Canva provides these elements that are like 3D. Um, they kind of sit off of the page. It's more than just adding a shadow or a backdrop. Um, this is actually adding some type of depth to the elements. So let's change the background so you can see it a little bit better. And you see how it looks like it's kind of almost just sitting off the top off top of the page. Um, that's the cool thing that Canva offers with these elements. So let's delete this one and not my background. Um, and let's do this. I like this one. And then let's add some text. Hello world. And there you go. Another cool thing that's inside of Canva that a lot of people may not know about. All right, so the next thing I wanna show you all today is how you can take your tweet and turn it into an aesthetically pleasing Instagram post that matches your feed. Um, so first you wanna to go to canva.com, obviously. You want to click on create a design and then go down to your Instagram post. Then from there, you want to search templates and in there you wanna search Twitter. And then over here, it shows you all the different designs that they offer. So let's go with this one. And there you have it. You're able to turn your tweet into an Instagram post and you can change the background, add color to it, whatever you want. Um, but this is a quick and simple way to get that done. So the next thing I wanna show you all that you can do in Canva, let's go to a new page is that you have the option to search elements. Um, this allows you to get a little bit more narrow when it comes to what you're looking for. So say if I was looking for, I don't know, notebooks. I can type that in in the elements tab in Canva. And let's hit enter. And here you see the different notebooks that they have. And if you want, or if you're using the free account, if you go right here to the right hand corner, the drop down box, you can click free. And this will allow you to um, look at all the free elements that they provide. So let's look at another element. Let's do minimalist. And here you see all the beautiful elements that they offer. I really like this one. You can change the colors. Um, you can basically do whatever you want with it. But this is a great way to get more specific if you're looking for something and trying to save time. 
All right, so the next thing I wanna show you all is how you can add an outline to your picture and get this cool effect um, like you see here on the screen. So let's start from scratch. Let's go to a new page. And let's just upload any picture that we want. Go over to edit image. Then you wanna click on background remover. This typically takes a few minutes, but there we go. Click apply. And then let's zoom in so we can really see what we're doing. And so the next thing we wanna do is scroll all the way down. We wanna to go to shadows, click see all, and then we wanna click on this effect or this option called glow. You see how it provides a little, you know, tint around her, but let's adjust it to make it a little bolder. So we wanna turn the size up. We wanna turn the transparency up. You can turn it all the way up or you can turn it down. Um, whichever you prefer, especially depending on the background. Um, but let's turn it up for the purposes of this video. Um, you can also blur it. Blur it just a little bit. And then I want to change this color to match, you know, her pretty outfit and her headscarf. So let's go ahead and change it to orange. And there you have it. This is how you can provide an outline onto yourself and it makes for a cool profile picture, um, cool picture that you can put on a flyer or anything that you want to do with it. But I hope you like this one. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you all is this cool thing in Canva called the plastic effect. Um, so in order to get that, you want to go to canva.com. You want to go into the search box. You want to type in plastic. Then from there, you want to scroll all the way down because Canva gives us so many different templates we can use. And then the cool thing about this is this effect is free for those who have a pro account or a free account. Um, and then you see these templates right here where it provides this plastic foil over top of your image. Let's just click on one to kind of get an up close you know, feel for it. And so Canva provides this plastic overlay that you can use with whatever image or whatever element that you like. Okay, so the next thing I wanna share with you all um, is how you can take your original design and share that with other people as a template. Um, so what you wanna do is first have a Canva free or a Canva pro account. Um, then you wanna go up here and click share. Then you want to click this drop down box right here besides share a link. Um, and then you wanna make sure that you click on share a link to use as a template, copy that link. And there you have it. You can send this out to whoever you want. So let's just go ahead and open up a new tab and then let's paste that link. And you see this allows the user to use this as a template, um, especially if all your designs are free. Um, you don't use anything on the pro account. Um, people who have a free Canva account can also use your template as well. Okay, so the last thing I want to show you all today is how to find Instagram highlight covers for free in Canva. So all you want to do is start off on the home page. In the search box, you want to type in Instagram highlight cover. And from there, you can choose any template that you want. A lot of these are free. Um, so go ahead and take a look through them and see which one fits your style and your aesthetic. But these are a great option for those who don't really have that much design bones in them, um, but want to use something that is cohesive with their feed. I tell you to take a look at this um, and definitely keep playing around with Canva because there's so many things that you can do with it. So that was pretty much it for today's tutorial, y'all. If you like what you saw, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And while you're also there, you might as well turn on that notification bell so you're notified every time I drop new content. But I will have links to my Instagram and my Etsy shop down below so you can be able to see some of these examples in live action. But if you're liking what you see and you want to find out more information, make sure you go ahead and take my Canva class where I will go into depth and detail about all these different things on how to utilize Canva and how to benefit and monetize off of it. So until next video, I'll see you later.